Hello, I'd like to share another junk journal that I just finished. This one has a bird, butterfly, and flower theme. Lots of pretty spring colors. It's a soft cover journal and it measures roughly, I'd say, four and a half by seven. It's about an inch and a half thick. There are three signatures. 10 folded pages in each signature. I add that up to 120 book pages. And um, this soft cover was created by using a manila envelope and I covered it with paper, stitched it all along the edges, front and back, added some lace trim for detail. It's tied with a ribbon. And I just love this bird image. There's a lot of color there, a little bit of maybe a fuchsia and green and blue and a corally pink layered on book pages. Um, I've added a silk flower and some glitter, a little bit of bling and some fibers. Open up and go inside. I love these papers. A butterfly sticker, a pocket here, added some eyelash trim, a couple tags inside. This tag is the bird that I photographed last summer. Spent a couple days trying to get in the front door. I like to include that little photo, kind of my signature piece that goes in my projects. But I've got two pockets here folded up into this page. Some stamping along the edges, more stamping, a fold down tuck spot. I particularly like this tag. Um, I like violets and I've added some gold embossing to the corners and pinking shears to cut a little bit of a detailed edge on the tag. Some coffee dye paper, coloring book pages. Just for some variety, some more butterfly stickers. Pretty tuck spot here, some vintage trim, and a butterfly. Space for journaling. Some music paper, pretty yellow roses. Lots of space for writing and for adding your own paper ephemera or snapshots. This is one of my favorite elements of the journal. This is a handmade envelope. It's the center of the signature, and I've added a dimensional, little bit of a pop-up butterfly that allows you to close this envelope, and inside you'll find this little booklet, just a little stamped butterfly, but love this paper. Lots of pretty colors. Another pocket, machine stitching for detail, little chickadee with pink stitching along the edges, you can write on the back, a little bird stamp, more yellow roses, love that little tulip, stitch this on to make a corner pocket journaling space. Coffee dye papers. Dragonfly stamp. This page flips out. Hope happens stamped at the bottom. Machine stitching. That's the end of the first signature. Going into the second, we have a pocket with a little pop-up element here with a bird. More journaling space. This is a digital stamp that was created from two of my photos, uh, one of the butterfly and one of the flower, and I used Adobe Photoshop 
to create that stamp and put that on the paper. More coffee dyed paper. A die cut bird. A piece of fabric with some lace trim added to the edge. And a die cut butterfly. Put some tiny stamped butterflies on the inside edge on coffee stained paper in this sheer fabric pocket with some vintage lace trim holds a couple journaling spots another tuck spot here stitched on plenty of space to write beautiful printed vellum stamping inspire pretty pocket. Love this bird. Love the colors on this one. It's layered on coffee dyed paper with some machine stitching for detail. Paper clip holds some paper for journaling. Folds up and tucks in. Butterflies along the edge. The center of the signature. Love this little tuck spot. A silk flower with some fibers and some beautiful lace trim. This is another one of my photos. This is a dogwood flower that, again, in Photoshop, I was able to layer this on some digital paper kit that I had purchased. And this paper clip is altered has a small tag on it with some fibers, a handmade envelope stitched all the way around, opens up, and this pretty tag inside it says treasure. Some eyelash trim stitched to the top of this pretty pink and gold paper, a couple pages to write and hide your writing there. This is the back side of that pretty vellum. The second side of that sheer pocket and that pretty blue lace trim. A couple pretty tags here. Some more butterflies. Opens up for writing. A recycled greeting card. Stamping along the edges. More stamping. piece of the fabric. Love this vintage lace trim. Made a tuck spot here and more drawing space. Pretty paper with a bicycle. Another one of my photos, a butterfly. Want some more of that digital kit lined paper that I purchased. Another pocket and I love these mason jar tags. I try to include at least one of those in all my journals. A hope stamp. More space to write. Going into the last signature. This pretty tuck spot. I love that bird and this paper that matches the colors. Pocket with butterfly and flowers. corner tuck spot here with some fibers, some roses, this pretty bird tag with coffee dyed paper on the back, some more stamping detail along the inside edge. Love this. Purchased this digital kit and I just love those butterflies. More journaling space clipped to this page pocket with a postcard. Another tuck spot here, layered paper, little piece of a dresser scarf, crocheted, a couple pages of this pretty pink paper, 
handmade paper stitched around the edges to make a pocket on this side added a little piece of lace and a little bit of a shiny butterfly with a brad this is one of my favorite tags it says life's most beautiful things are not seen with the eyes but felt with the heart center of the signature butterflies everywhere more coffee stained paper both of these the tuck spot here with a little machine stitching for trim this pretty bird tag pocket another tag and some butterfly stamping on the inside edge I like this tuck spot I stitched this in in this real pretty piece of pale yellow trim that I found in a secondhand store. Just a yard or two of that, but just wanted to include that in here. And a pretty tag. More stamping detail. Another little pocket with a tag. And the back page, a die cut bird. I just love the feel of that book. It's soft in your hands, it's pretty to look at, and it reminds me of spring. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.